Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Today I'm going to be doing a very exciting and annual video that I've been doing. I want to say the past couple, maybe at least two or three years. If you have been with me for any given amount of time, you know that I don't do favorites videos. So a lot of what I use is very repetitive. I would basically show you the same thing every month. But there are products that I use religiously throughout the year and I want to share them with you just in case you're on the market for the same thing. But Christmas is coming up guys and I just want to say Merry Christmas to you and yours, your family, your loved ones, anyone that you hold near and dear to your heart and for the world, just everyone to be happy and healthy and just be ready and excited for this upcoming new year. I can't believe this year has gone by so quickly. Also, if you're interested in this makeup look here, I'm thinking of doing like a New Year's tutorial. So let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to do a tutorial on this look? I like the way it turned out, but you know, there's just so many tutorials out there. So I can put it off guys. Don't worry, don't worry. That is a long enough intro guys. This will already be a long enough video as it is. So I'm gonna get right into it. Let's go. All right, let's start off with mascaras. I have two to show you because I couldn't pick between them. The first one is my tried and true, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara in Waterproof. This stuff is the only mascara that can actually hold my curl and maintain it throughout the day. I have very stubborn straight lashes, so I have to curl them on my own and I really like them sky high. So when I apply this on, it stays in the exact same position that I curled it in. You find with a lot of mascaras, they tend to fall. This stays exactly the same. If you have stubborn lashes and want something to hold your curl, I highly recommend this. And a lot of people do enjoy this one as well. This next one is a new find. I just got it as a sample. I'm going to purchase it when I run out of the sample, but I do have like two or three of it. This is the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara. I'm not a big fan of really purchasing high-end mascaras. I really am a drugstore brand kind of person when it comes to mascara. I think there's more than enough great quality ones out there that you don't need to purchase high-end ones, but this one. On the first coat, this mascara gives you volume like you can't even believe, girl. And this is like the perfect bottom lash mascara. I know a lot of people like the Giga Blash, Giga Blast, is that what it's called? I don't know. Giga something mascara from MAC, but I have not tried that one. So I'm just going based on ones that I've tried and this has been wonderful. But I will definitely be purchasing the full size of this when I run out because it makes my bottom lashes look amazing. All right, moving on to brows. I love this stuff. This stuff is just perfection when it comes to very um, defined, very sleek, very um, chiseled out brow. I have been in love with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and this color specifically I got fairly recently. This is in Ash Brown and this is basically the pencil that I use in the Dip Brow Pomade formula. But I prefer my brows to be a little bit more on the ashy like charcoal side because I think it matches my hair a little bit better. But with that said, this stuff gives me really nice defined brows without looking like stark black you know what i mean then for my pencil anastasia dip brow no just kidding <sighs> for pencil this is the anastasia brow wiz in medium brown this is kind of like an everyday brow i don't use it every day because it's expensive but um, for natural more everyday brows i like to use this it's very thin you can mimic um, small hairs where you have sparse like areas on your brow and it gives you a very clean and defined bottom brow which is something i just have to do i try and go without it can be helped however just to give your brows a little bit more of a pop for my under brow guys this is my favorite one this is the mac eyebrow crayon pencil in stud it is a very dark color and i only use this to really define the bottom portion of my brow and then at the very end i take it and i just fill it in basically from my arch down that way my brows look very like gradient so light in the front a little bit more of a medium color in the middle and then very dark at the end it flows okay moving on to blushes i have two for you these two i have loved 
loved this year. I have quite a bit of MAC blushes and I don't have them organized. I just kind of throw them in their little trays and I just look at the top and I naturally just pick these without knowing what the color is. So the first one here is one that I've recommended time and time again. This is Max Fleur Power. Their blushes is not everyone's favorite. I personally really like it. However, I'm going to be completely honest, my favorite blushes of all time is NARS. Fleur Power is one that I just recommend time and time again. It is lovely. It is this kind of warmer pink shade. Let me bend that down so you can see a little bit better. There you go. It's got a little bit warmth to it if you have tan skin this gives you like a natural flush colored look when this is blended out onto the cheeks this looks absolutely amazing this can be like a very good everyday or like a beach day blush you know some people like to wear makeup to the beach so this is a nice option for you the pigmentation on this is amazing a little goes a long way and it really does blend very nicely onto the cheeks this next color is what i have on my faces on the cheeks area and this is eternal sun i think i've done a couple of videos where i mention the makeup that i have on and i'm like oh it's eternal sun yet again but this is your typical neutral color it's kind of like a bronzer with a little bit more of a color kick to it so you can apply it onto your cheeks but it also gives you more of a chiseled look and i've mentioned it before i absolutely love brushes like this because they kind of serve a dual purpose it's tan skin again this is amazing it shows up beautifully on the cheeks you can see there it really blends nicely into the bronzer that I have on. It's gorgeous guys. What can I say? Bronzers was probably the hardest time that I had. With all the other products, I was very quick to pick at it. I was like, oh yeah, this for eyeshadow, this for foundation. And I looked at my bronzer container and I was like, okay, we need to be picky with you guys. So what I did was I based it off of what have I been using the most this year? And that is NARS Casino, bam, and Laguna, bam. Let me open them up for you. This is a very good bronzer for natural looks. When you put on foundation, a lot of the times you get a lot of your natural shading and coloring gone because you put it on foundation. My forehead is dark, guys. So when I put this on, I feel like myself again. Some people think that if you have tan skin, this is not the best option for you. I agree if you're going for a heavy bronze look. But if you want something for every day, this does show up on my skin. And I have about an NC40 skin tone for MAC reference. And it also gives a really nice golden glow without like chunks of glitter on your face. But if I want something more chiseled out, more hollow without the gray cast on it, I like to use Casino. Casino is a very nice. I don't think it's too warm. Some people think it is though. This is what I have on like really chiseled on the bottom of my um, cheekbones. And I think it looks okay. What I like to do is place it and then buff it. Buff the heck out of it. The combo together of both of these bronzers, perfection. I need to take a break and drink something. I'm thirsty. In one of my videos, I mentioned that, I think it was my get to know me one. People have like Starbucks and a cup of coffee. I have a hot cocoa mix that one of my students had given me. I'm like, no, it's too hot for that. So I'm gonna drink this. High C. We call it high C. It's good and I'm thirsty. Pop. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Highlighter. Highlighter. I really like this one. And this is from Becca. It is a shimmering skin perfecter. And I know most of you guys are going to think that I'm going to say it's opal, but it's not. I like me some Moonstone. So this is Moonstone and it is, I want to say the lightest of the three that they have the original colors. I absolutely love the way this looks on the skin. People oftentimes say that this is meant for people with lighter skin tones. I have tan skin and it still works for me. And I think that it works on my skin because Becca, although this color is light, decided to make it a yellow shade. So even on my tan skin, it does look nice on the skin. And the fact that I highlight more with a yellow color underneath my eyes, it kind of blends into my highlighter naturally. It's kind of got this yellow, slightly golden look to it. When used heavily, this does give you a very strobe look, but I like to use a very fluffy fan brush and just apply it where I want a little bit more highlight because I have oily skin and I don't want to be no grease ball. 
because I can do that on my own. When I first started this makeup collection thing, I started with MAC eyeshadows. It was my goal to get every single eyeshadow that I wanted. When I did that, I kind of put it off to the side and started like collecting other stuff, other palettes, Nike palettes, Lorac palettes, Makeup Geek eyeshadows, and I do love them. I'm very happy with the eyeshadow collection that I have now, but my MAC eyeshadows have been collecting dust, and I've really fallen in love with them and remember why I really like them. That's not to say that all the MAC eyeshadows are amazing. They're not, I'll put that out there. Some of them piss you off. However, there are quite a few in the bunch that are just amazing and can't be replicated in quality and in color. I have two palettes here. I have a couple more that I've built on this shelf back here. However, these are my favorite ones. But these are my favorite. These are just the love, guys, the love. But much of the colors in here are the colors that people always recommend from MAC. So they're very tried and true, very much uh, cult favorites, if you will. I want to swatch one for you guys just so you get an idea. I believe this one up here is bronze. Give it a little wiggle. Do you see that? It lives up to the pigmentation quality. And then this next one here is my more matte browns and more like purpley kind of cool tone i don't know what i'm trying to get to stuff that you can put in your crease but these ones specifically on this side i am in love with this stuff i forgot just how good um some of the mac mattes are they're very pigmented but they blend like a dream they blend like a dream guys and i will show you the same thing just a little swipe back and forth bam oh yeah so i have been into the baking method people with oily skin are usually like yeah let's bake and then people with drier skin like no don't bake and i almost threw this product away until i knew about baking so a while back i had gotten the laura mercier translucent setting powder in addition to keeping my makeup staying the way that it is this fills in my pores Oh, it fills in my pores. I do use primers. It does fill in my pores some, but I still see it. It's still there. It's like evident on my face and I don't like it. So I take a puff and I roll the product into my skin to really set my makeup and to also fill in my pores and my face looks whew, like that. And this has become really popular. I feel like this year, everyone talks about Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and it is really good stuff. A lot of people are not really into buying into the hype, but that is actually a really good product. So I have to make mention of these because I've been using them so much. I'm pretty sure in a lot of my videos, I always say that I have this foundation on. And this is the MAC Full Coverage Foundation. I only use this for filming, and if I know that I'm going out like to a nice dinner, I'm just gonna sit there. But if I want a blank slate, I want to highlight, I want to contour the heck out of my face, I just wanna go ham on my makeup. This stuff just, it's blank guys, it's like. And I did mention my thoughts on these a lot more in my foundation collection video, so I can link that down below for you. But it's basically just really great quality stuff when you want to film and when you want to have like really nice skin for photography but just don't wear it out when you're sweating because it's gonna look bad the final bit is my lip products and i'm going to start off with these two korean items from etude house it is the rosy tint lips i've done a gradient lip video with this i've used it a couple times in previous videos i like to use it when i go out and i have been asked quite a few occasions when i use this out how i get the look and i tell them it's these two so what I like to do is add the number four to the general area of my lips and I kind of conceal the outer portions first and then on the center I like to add a number eight and it gives a really nice um, very rosy and very cute lip look and if you're going for that very k-pop inspired korean inspired makeup look i highly recommend these two especially if you have tan skin because i think the color combination looks really nice on our complexion this is twig by mac any skin tone can pull off this color it is that amazing you can be fair skin 
medium skin tone, darker skin tone, anyone can pull this off. This is a very, very nice quality lipstick. It is satin, so it's not very glossy, but it's not matte as well. It's that nice in between. And it's just kind of this nice mauve everyday neutral type of color and it's gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning and I highly recommend you to pick this up if you're looking for an everyday lipstick. This is Velvet Teddy. This is a matte lipstick. For the longest time, I had this in my collection but I never used it until I tried it with a lip liner and the combo of the two blew my mind. This is like a very nice medium on your lips. It's not very light, but it's not excessively dark either. It's that happy, happy medium. And it does have a little bit of pink in it. So it does pull the natural colors of your lips, but it also has a bit of that brown to kind of mute everything. And I think it just makes everything look a bit more like natural. It's not like a very color specific type of lip color. However, I don't like to use Velvet Teddy alone. I like to use it with cork. I love this lip liner. I think out of the two that I'm going to show you, this is the standout for the year. I don't know how many times I've mentioned cork in my videos, but there's something very good about this. Now, brown lip liners are very subjective. If you have lighter skin tone, you have a different preference. If you have a darker skin tone, you have your own preference. But for me personally, and the kind of lip color pigmentation that I have, the kind of lip look that I like to have, I tend to gravitate towards cork because it's a medium brown for me. And finally, the last one here is a Pro Longwear Lip Liner. And this color is not spoken about all that much, if ever, to be completely honest. I've never heard anyone else mention it. It's this color here, and it is called Absolutely It. It's kind of this darker mauve -er color and it's very rich in pigment but the cool thing about this lip liner is that it kind of has a little bit of a pearlescent look to it and it has this like pink glitter glimmer to it so it is matte but it has this bit of sheen on it so it's kind of cool and I definitely recommend that you go and give this a swatch because I'm pretty sure it's one of those colors that people don't know is out there but would absolutely fall in love with it if they see it. So absolutely it. Definitely check it out, give it a swatch. You're welcome. I know that was quite a bit of products but I wanted to just like wham bam, here's everything that I loved in 2015, go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some insight into what is out there. So if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to be updated on any future videos, I would really appreciate if you would click on the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on my social media, which is Instagram slash MattDJSass, something like that. So please feel free to do that. And till the next video, I hope you guys are all doing well, taking really good care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye. In the next video coming up, I think I mentioned that I didn't play Christmas music prior to that video, but I'm recording this one now and I'm going to upload it before that one. So technically, I lied in that video. I apologize in advance. But to the computer, let's find us a Christmas song. Merry Christmas, Bring peace and